enregistre. Okay. I'm going to go down, keep your head to the left side. Okay, the head is to the left. And we have a left beat, horizontal nystagmus. We're timing this. It's been about 15 seconds now. Keeps on going. It's been <clears throat> we're now one minute from starting. It looks like it's stopping, but it's not. It's going to keep on going, and it seems to keep on going and in some volleys. Can you look with your just move, look with your eyes a little more to the left? That's good. Keeps on going. It's now been two minutes. Now we're going to turn your head to the right. And we have an immediate change. And this is a long-lasting response. The head is turned to the right. The eyes are beating to the right. Are you having any dizziness? Uh, no, I don't think so. On this side, his response is also persistent. It has been a minute since we turned to the right side. Now I'm going to put your head in the middle. Slightly to the right. And now we're going to go slightly to the left. And that just about stops things. So this may be the left labyrinth and the left lateral cupola which is involved, which is floating today. And then any deviation to the left or right of this will cause restart his float. To the left, lateral nystagmus to the left. Head to the right. We'll give that just a moment and lateral nystagmus to the right. So this is a floating cupola of the left lateral and um, Krista.